Everything's here. <laughs> like, what a mess. Oh my god. It's terrible. And the desk is gray, really. It's this color, gray. But I cordoned off part of it and I painted it this light green, whatever color it is. But it's wearing away and it's fiberboard so it's going to start crumbling up. I intend to finish the little tiny can of paint that I have, repaint this, and put a piece of plastic on it. Oh, all this paperwork, you know. A little pile over there means something and I forget what. <laughs> There's stuff here. Stuff up there. Stuff up there. Brian says, get rid of the dictionary and the thesaurus, Mommy. You don't need those things because you have a computer. That's how warm it is in here in the house. It's Monday morning, and boy, do I have a lot of stuff ahead of me today. <laughs> First, uh, I'll take this dress off, and then I will put on the pants that I made so you can see everything that I sewed and wasted time doing, procrastinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the fabric of the pants. And it does have this color in it. Yes, it makes me look like a big fat clown. I used up the rest of that paint to paint over the uh, disintegrating part. It still, if you look really close, I don't think the camera will pick it up. There's a lot of stubby parts that... Uh, but covering with plastic will be better. I'm not totally finished, but I did clear off a lot and I did have a lot of bag of old bills and papers and notes. I'm a note writer, you know, if I go shopping I take a note with me, otherwise I'll forget something. So I'll come home with it and I'll make another note for some other time. I, I've known people that consolidate their notes into other notes. <laughs> I don't do that because then I lose track of what the heck I'm doing. But right now, uh, as Monday night, this is how the desk looks. There's a piece of cork board. It's not glued down, it's just set there. And the paint is dried, and I put a piece of acrylic on it. I washed this because it was dirty. I scrubbed it with soap and water and dried it and all that. And then this thing I had made a while back to put the laptop on so it sits up just a little bit higher. Got rid of all. this place. The desk was just crammed full of papers. I still have stuff to go through. I have that stuff up there to go through. I got my little box of bills. And I have, well, that's a bag of papers and stuff that's being thrown away. And I had something set up, but it fell over, so now I have to pick it all up and go through it again. Then I'll go through stuff on the couch. And then it's into the kitchen. Yep, long day. One thing I did do is I went to the play uh, to the Writers Guild meeting tonight, or that they have people that write plays or scripts or vignettes or whatever, and then they have people that volunteer to read them. That's me. I am a volunteer. One fellow had a whole play tonight. Dennis can't remember his last name. Originally, I think he was living up in Chicago. Now he's in St. Louis area. He wrote a, a not a long play, a short play, it's a couple acts, several scenes, uh, called Blind. And I got to read the part of Mother. Oh my gosh. It was a narcissistic mother that guilted her son into coming back. He had left town because he just couldn't take it anymore. And it, it's all involved with a duck blind and old girls from high school that all of a sudden decide they like him now. And it's just a whole lot of stuff going on. And it's so funny. There are parts in this play that are will have you crying until you pee your pants. <laughs> I am so thankful I got to read that part tonight. I had a blast. 
And I got several compliments from other people in the room about me being able to read well. And that I delivered the, the character to them. And I, oh my gosh, that makes my heart happy. I love that. And another fellow came up to me and he says, you have really good comedic timing. You have good uh, comedic way about you. He says, you're really good in this stuff. I'm, Aww. That made me feel so good. Because that's what I like to do. I do voices. I do comedy characters. That's my forte, which means my strength. My weakness, everything else. <laughs> I was really, really hungry, so I had soup for early supper, and I just had a piece of meat and potatoes for a late supper. I just was really hungry. I'm going to make the cucumber salad for tomorrow's vlog, and it's really good. It'll be a short one, and it's really yummy. So I'll see you then, and then Wednesday will be Whoop Whoop Wednesday, where I will have a joke for you. Upward and onward.